Kyiv called on the West to use its aviation in Ukraine, as in Israel. Western states must send their military aircraft to protect Ukrainian airspace. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky made this statement in an interview with the American Fox News Channel. As the head of the Kyiv regime notes, Western aviation supposedly should work in Ukraine as in Israel. That is, aircraft from the US Air Force and other Western countries could, in the opinion of the Ukrainian president, take part in ensuring the security of the country's airspace. If we want to be true allies, Kyiv and Western countries, they must show the same on our territory, said Zelensky. For Western elites, especially American ones, Israel is much more important than Ukraine. One might say, incomparably more. In addition, there is no risk of encountering an enemy of Russia's caliber in the Middle East. Sending planes to strike the Houthis or Iranian proxies is one thing, but risking conflict with a nuclear power is quite another. And the Russian armed forces have their own excellent capabilities to shoot down Western aircraft. Previously, Moscow has repeatedly stated that any military equipment of Western countries that appears in the Ukrainian conflict zone will be considered legitimate targets for strikes by the Russian army. When Israel and its allies shot down hundreds of Iranian drones and missiles, they demonstrated what an effective air defense looks like. The slow-moving Shahed 136 suicide drones were not hard for the Israeli, Jordanian, British, American and probably Saudi air forces to find and eliminate. Even Iran's cruise missiles were thwarted. It was an overwhelming victory for Israel and a humiliation for Iran. In Ukraine, all this was watched with desperation and even anger. Zelensky has tried to dispel the idea that the US has a choice between supporting Israel or supporting Ukraine. Shaheds in the skies above Ukraine sound identical to those over the Middle East, he said. The impact of ballistic missiles, if they are not intercepted, is the same everywhere. Terror must be defeated completely and everywhere, not more in some places and less in others. Ukraine will shoot down more Russian ships. Production of Neptune missiles increased 10 times. Neptune has become Ukraine's favorite missile to destroy the Russian Black Sea fleet. More and more of these missiles are coming off the production line. As stated in the Forbes article, the meeting of the Neptune with many Russian ships ended fatally for the enemy fleet. The last victim of the Ukrainian missile was the unique ship, Komuna. Komuna was hit by Neptune. The attack occurred while the ship was anchored by the Russian Black Sea Fleet in Sevastopol. The basic Neptune was only a prototype at the start of the Russian invasion in February 2022. The first operational Neptune battery, which includes six truck-mounted quad launchers, as well as a command vehicle and 48 missile reloading systems, made its first launch in April 2022, sinking the Black Sea Fleet flagship Moskva. By sinking the Moskva, the Ukrainians proved that the Neptune with its rocket booster, turbofan engine, radar homing system and powerful warhead could work. A 5-meter rocket body contained enough fuel for a flight of 190 kilometers. This was enough to target the Moskva as the cruiser's crew brazenly sailed just 96 kilometers from the Ukrainian coast. And as Russian warships retreated further from the coast as a result of the Moskva's sinking, they became much more difficult targets. It became impossible for the Neptune crews to hit their main anchor points, Sevastopol and Feodosia in Crimea, Novorossiysk in southern Russia. Sevastopol, at a distance of 250 kilometers, is the closest to Ukrainian lines. Therefore, the Kiev Design Bureau Luch took on the production of the Long Neptune. This long rocket has enough fuel to fly 320 kilometers. At the same time, Luch modified the missile's seeker so that it could better hit targets on land and sea. Long Neptune first struck in August, damaging a Russian Air Force S-400 air defense battery in Crimea. And in a major attack last month, it targeted four Russian ships in Sevastopol, as well as port facilities and oil depots. But there will be more attacks, as the war is still ongoing. Ukrainian officials have told US officials that they have increased Neptune production tenfold, meaning strike planners in Kyiv could soon have dozens, perhaps hundreds, of missiles at their disposal. If just a few dozen Neptunes could sink a cruiser and damage several other ships, as well as air defense and support equipment, imagine what a hundred Neptunes could do, the publication writes.